Hello there, I'm Trevor. Today, somewhere in the middle, it's time for some more Taco Bell. That's right. There's some new stuff on the menu, and I had to check it out. So come along as we make a run for the border and try some of the new items from Taco Bell. Let's go. Let's dig in what we got here. Got a couple things. Lastly, this is what we're gonna be covering on the episode today. This new nacho pie that they have. So let's get into that. We have the secret aardvark nacho fry here. Let's see. I didn't even know about this thing till I opened the, the menu today, or opened the app. And uh, let's just say the last time they did one of these nacho fries things with the special sauce on it, I wasn't all that impressed. But hopefully this time around, it's good. All right, let's give this a bite. Whoa, that's a lot there. But let's give this a bite. I don't know what it is. That tastes like a bunch of sour cream. Looks like there's now chicken on it. Sour cream. That's interesting. What is this? It's like, what is that? Is that like? It's chicken, that's for sure. Some sort of sauce. It's like it, almost like their enchilada sauce. We can see a lot of sort of white sauce on there. Hmm. Interesting. So what I would say is, I like the flavor. There's heat to it. Ooh, that came out right. Ooh, that came out right. I like the flavor. There's good heat to it. People that are into spice, I think you'll like this. It's not overly spicy. If you're afraid of heat, I don't know, you may not want to try to get the secret aardvark nacho fry. Personally, I might just say just getting a regular nacho fry is still the best way to go when it comes to nacho fries. Just get a nacho fry and a cup of cheese on the side. But this is, you know, some for something new and I guess a little different, again, this is pretty good. It doesn't just taste like sour cream on top of nacho fries. There's something else there that I'm missing. And again, with it being secret, I don't really know what it is without further research. You know, Taco Bell, likes to bring out the nacho fry, get rid of the nacho fry, bring it back. Sort of like McDonald's and the McRib. Keeping it limited helps increase our interest in the food. Anyways, secret aardvark fries from Taco Bell. I'm gonna give them a pass, I like them. I would say definitely give them a try if you already like Taco Bell and you like nacho fries. Probably worth your time. If you don't like nacho fries and you're not a fan of Taco Bell, I don't even know why you're watching this episode. <laughs> that being said, I'm glad you're here. And I'd really appreciate it. If you're still watching, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Come on back for the next episode. Or maybe watch some of the older episodes. The last time I was at Taco Bell. Taco Bell has a new food item, the big cheese it. What? And they're putting it inside of a crunch wrap supreme. So guess what I'm doing? I'm getting me one. All right, let's see what's inside this thing here. Let's go. Let's get this should be the big. All right, so there it is. There's this is gonna be the big crunch wrap supreme. The big cheese it. I'm curious exactly how much of that is really a cheese it. So when I opened up the app today and saw Big Cheese It, I was like, what? I have a feeling this doesn't even have the cheese it in it, but we'll find out, won't we? Let's go. Let's see what's in here. 
to be honest. I'm not really tasting a big cheese yet. I guess there it is. Hmm. Do you even see it in there? Hmm. Right now, because I really can't. I was expecting a big cheese. If you look at the app and what they show is like a large cheese. -it. There's supposed to be a tostada cheese it too. I should have got that as well, but maybe that's the next next try. But you can kind of see that orange in there, but it just doesn't really feel like it's a big cheese hit. Like the, the, the picture, as you can see on screen, showed a big cheese hit. This doesn't really feel like that. Oh, okay. I totally got a cheese hit bite right there. You can see it in there. So, I don't know, the cheese hit tostada might be better. <laughs> All right, so as I like to do in all my fast food craving episodes, I like to give you a quote from my classroom. So let me look it over here and see uh, what I'm going to give you. A few moments later. Man, I, I, to be honest, it's been a while since I've done a fast food craving episode. I don't even remember the last quote I give you. Let's see. I think one's kind of standing out to me, and I know I don't think I've, I've used it. So let's use this one. It's not what you do for, for your children, but what you have taught them to do for themselves. That will make them successful human beings. As a teacher, right? I mean, that's kind of a clutch. What I'm teaching my students to do for themselves. Because it's mind boggling to you, yeah. A big part of my class when it comes to teaching, let's walk to the other side of the room, is just to kind of show you here's four simple things that students need to be able to do right they need to be able to summarize they got to be able to explain they got to be able to justify and they should be able to persuade those four basic concepts are huge in my class in my lessons i try to make sure that one of those four things is always happening i want to share one other thing about what i teach to my students to help you or to help you guys Get a little bit more background information on me. So let's take a look at this. Adjacent to my desk on a pin board here, I have this, this triangle that you can see there. Up at the top, we have intellectual rigor. Down at the bottom right, we see ethical reflection. Over on the left, we have emotional engagement. And in the middle, we have head, heart, and conscience, right? So in any lesson I make, those are things that I have to hit. I need to hit intellectual rigor. I need to make it engaging and smart for the kids it has to have a little bit of it's got to be a little hard they're juniors in my class right 15, 16 17 year olds it has to have ethical reflection i want them to think about this is u.s history social science i want them to think about i'm a sociologist by heart by trade by degree i want them to think about the ethical reflection of things that we learn about in this class and also there needs to be again that emotional engagement there has to be like the head and the heart have to be engaged for kids to want to pay attention so that ties into head heart and then conscience right the head is the intellectual rigor the heart is the emotional engagement and finally the conscience is the ethical reflection three huge components of teaching social science from my perspective in my classroom. Something I've talked about on the channel, I think in previous Taco Bell episodes is these little boys, these little packets. I tend to order a lot of them and I tend to put an entire packet on each bite. How about you? This was something that my, one of my best friends used to do in high school. I want you guys to do this, just enjoy. Mm. Yeah. Not sitting this one out. <laughs> so thanks for joining me today. Again, another episode of Fast Food Cravings. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys liked our quote of the day. We'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Take care. Auf Wiedersehen. <laughs>